This video is rated T for teen. Viewer discretion, slightly advised. I think I just smacked Max into oncoming traffic. <laughs> no way, he's back there. I reacted a bit slow to seeing him in the background. Gotta go back to Bosco. Bosco's inconvenience. Forgot he was with us, eh? Ah. I wanna know how old that is. Should've... Yeah. yeah, that's weird. It says his age is burnt sienna. That is weird. He doesn't look a day over toe. Oh. That was the carbon date. Oh, I thought it was Yeah, the it was gun. carbon dating thingamajig. Alright. Oh, Mr. President! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wait, now that uh, you're president, don't you have... Um, all the money. Well, You've got all the money in the treasury. Weenies, these weenies mm -hmm. date from the early Cretaceous period. How? Uh, now, special bargain for you. Still Cretaceous period. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Uh -huh. Really? I mean, uh, of course. In preserving heritage <laughs> of, of my course. People, just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get Ladies back to you on that. They're valuable. So we need to get the truth serum so we can incite a war. Okay. Sounds good. Ah, uh, Stinky's Diner. We'll see you in season two. Cool. I, I was actually wondering about that place earlier. Where are we going, Sam? What? Uh, let's let's off to the White House. No. Oh boy. The time is not yet right. Chase Lincoln. But doesn't that mean you beat the game when you chase down Lincoln and kill him? We don't have the, uh... We don't have the means. Yes. Not yet. Not just yet. Yes, you need means. Bad. Uh, bad run. I'll go back in the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> what is this lore? It's the presidential holiday, however... <laughs> What a delightfully ah, Bosco's inconvenience store. Okay, is there what a fast you, travel? What is that even you're checking on? Is that like the places you visited mm, as no. president? No, the, his. Uh, it's national historic yeah, places. Yeah, Bosco's inconvenience is now a national historical place, as said by president of United States. Well, you see, those weenies are from the Cretaceous period, as you know. I just got okay, a horrible go. thought. Don't. Where are we going, okay. Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! <laughs> you put the goddamn images in my head! How about you, Devin? Are you affected? No, I don't think. <laughs> That's like the safest thing to do ever. Is not think. Just the... He said it so quickly! <laughs> It's like, oh, me? I don't think. <laughs> Silly. Okay. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. The president. Bosco, I think it's obvious it's how you did it. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're just considering making that. it a national wildlife Yeah, preserve. that's not for us. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. What? So we can Ooh. have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. But oh. it works. Trust me. Trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, well, why do we keep? Why do we keep getting things from Bosco? <laughs> because they work. Trust him. <laughs> Trust him. <laughs> What if they have a high alcohol tolerance? Well... I'm pretty sure this isn't really vodka. I'm dude. pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Bosco distilled this from paint thinner and bleach. Oh. And vodka. And vodka. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> so, potatoes. Yeah. You're off to the White House. Oh, boy! I still can't believe potatoes are the source of one of the most potent alcohols in the world. Yeah. But he doesn't even use actual, like, like, 
obscure potatoes. He, he just uses French. French. Yeah, he uses, he uses French, French fries. fries. I'm disturbed by the fact that we were both thinking French fries. He makes it work from the, French the, fries. <laughs> Alcohol from ma- French so fries. I want to drink that. I'm uh, also now aware that the thing that makes French fries is also the thing that makes back, vodka. Wizard, here to give yeah. another demonstration on soda da, 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 da. And potato chips and, and well, anything Thirsty? potato-based really. Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? Yes. You no, know I can't resist them. <laughs> we wouldn't do that. We've got plenty <laughs> nah. here. Orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why Thanks, are Max. you doing, Why are you doing <laughs> this to me? <laughs> Stay dry, Wiz Man. Uh. Oh, yeah, let's just ruin his bladder. Let's ruin him some more. Yeah. With it's soda, brought. right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? We enjoy causing relapses. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, geez. Shouldn't that no. br- uh, shouldn't that kill him? <laughs> you only weighs like two pounds. Yes, a ten percent alcohol blood level. Oh. Now, if we get yeah. back to the deliberations, what's the point? You still think Beeper's idea is stupid? Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. Hey, is he he your your idea idea about about it? Herbert Hoover eh? hugging the voice four other presidents oh, was know. the That's what it stupidest like. thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting uh. a parking garage in George Washington's forehead. Like some four-eyed freaks I know. What? You little, you big. Of course you realize this means war. Of course. War. War. So Ooh, a civil, yeah. a, a civil war between the Dakotas. Yep. Oh boy, back. here comes the unavoidable musical number. Remember this? Oh yeah. Beautiful. That's right. I feel like I might have to add subtitles to this one. Yeah. We're just being quiet to appreciate the beauty. Yep. Yeah, no, no one talk. No one talk. Other than the compliment, Super Bowl's wonderful singing voice. And ability to be in multiple voices at the same time. (laughs) This is the stupidest. There's a difference? <laughs> I can see you. Flesh. <laughs> well, I gotta say, was I not expecting this side would be surprised? Yeah. He was surprised the first time around. Uh huh. And I'm just, I'm, I'm sad that, uh, that recording got wrecked. Yeah. Because their reactions to this was priceless. Oh, dick. That's my jam. Oh, it has like that, like that nuke alarm. That's the air raid siren. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Max. You can't skip this. They don't let you. Really? Nope.
Well, you oh, wanting let's more. not do that again. <laughs> Does that happen every time there's a war? Apparently. We really need to ask one of the presidents about that. Uh-huh. Who enacted that? The one you just... Oh, punched probably. the head off. Probably. Bush. <laughs> no, the one you just punched the head off. Who's essentially Bush, I guess? You reminded me of, um... Not Bush, but... He was Bush. Really? He was Bush. The Bush is, has hair, gray hair. Looks he was like Bush in 2004. Frigid Antarctic. This... So peaceful. Uh, Antarctica. did I set... Why are we targeting Antarctica? Hmm? Did I... Oh, man, please let this game have been made in 2004 and not 2006. I really don't want to be wrong again. <laughs> wrong again? Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Oh, America. so that's, uh, that's what that is. Really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo. Wait, for can't one. people go up inside that thing? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there this will have a significant impact on a delicate ecosystem. Oh boy. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. <laughs> we just blew up Antarctica for no the reason. Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. For it was no probably turned reason. off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. Yeah, Max. It's a distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They <laughs> mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! This'll teach them to put me in the Phantom Zone. You're welcome, so comic book world. You will bow down before me! Aww. Better pull up a chair, little buddy. <laughs> well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Can we, uh, can we actually... No. No, okay. <laughs> I wonder... I'm somewhat disturbed by the fact that there's a dunce cap in the war room. Where? <sighs> yeah, who is that for? I guess just someone who says something stupid? No, it's for... <laughs> it's for, <laughs> like, let's, um... I don't know. It's for whoever shows up late. Mm. That one fell a little flat. I wasn't joking. Still fell a little flat. <laughs> I wish you would move faster, Max. And Sam. But mostly Sam. Uh, I messed up. Where are we well, going, you know, Sam? I gotta go back now. Back to the office. We gotta go get the beacon from Bosco. Yeah, what boy, beacon? there's a lot in, that, that goes into this. But we're almost done! Didn't we just have to get the truth serum from B B B Bosco? We used it already. Yeah, but he doesn't know that there's a beacon. Also, it was vodka. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> we are not the definitive source for Sam and Max lore. Stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? <laughs> uh, he said, Absolutely. that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Bye. <laughs> best, best price on baby wipes? I'll have to change that. <laughs> so Max there aren't even baby wipes on that thing. <laughs> Just... I tried to go into the Russian accent and immediately died. Oh. It immediately died in my throat. How tragic. Death. Where are we going, Sam? Oh. So Max is the president. After that rampaging Sam. Lincoln. Yes! Vice president. All right. I was gonna say, he's just like the president's friend. Okay, so now we got the beacon. Well, he wasn't hard to find. Time he's to take down Lincoln. He's just the dog on the street. Just for, uh, just for the giggles. The, the, the have no He's made of marble, Max, and fueled by rage. <laughs> He's made of it's Lincoln we need to stop at this point.
Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Guys. Ooh, I see what we're doing. Uh huh. This feel, I, I feel like this could cause quite a bit of collateral damage. Or choose his own back off to escape. This is a big place we live in. Hey, at worst, we established that we're either in New York or Detroit, right? I think. Well, if it's in Detroit, we're not wrecking anything of value. Oh. There are a lot of dilapidated buildings around there. Uh, the abandoned buildings district. Detroit is practically the abandoned buildings city. Wait, for real? Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, unfortunately. It's not the best place to live. I, I feel really bad for anyone who lives in Detroit. Like, their crime rate is phenomenal. Wow. That's why they need Sam and Max. Or Sam and Max is the cause of the crime rate. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive pepper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, you'll have enslaved all of D.C. and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. Hey, Gatch, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't so got anything better to do. <laughs> this game's got some good writing. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Wait, we let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. <laughs> hey, we're here now. We, we're gonna just watch it up close. Yep. But oh, oh, I'm the most powerful president of Monument Really tempted fate there. I, you know, you kind of have to appreciate the irony of. The I'm pretty sure we killed that guy. Like the statue of Abe Lincoln getting blown up by a giant what? flying Washington Monument. Mm -hmm. We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal bet. Well, it looks like the country is saved. At least for massive notice. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckle, report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged. He looks kind of dead. Error. Don't exactly Error. survive Error. that. Yeah. Error. And that'll lead us to the Reality 2.0 episode. Yes, which we've already done. So. Yep, so, yeah. Well, that was our re-recording of Abe Lincoln Must Die. Yep. Uh, really, really, embar it it, really embarrassing. We got egg on our faces pretty hard. Uh, yeah, this was kind of rushed. So. <laughs> I'm really sorry we couldn't go through and see most of the funnier things in this episode. But there aren't any, you know, well, there aren't many... Because, let's face it, this was the weakest of the episodes. Gravity, yeah. Yeah. You know, except for the whole War Room song. The War Room song was amazing. Was Real sing. only high of this episode. I will <laughs> sing that to my children when I tuck them in at night. Your I children will that. hate you. <laughs> uh, we're going to be terrible parents. <laughs> Every single night. Well, it's time to go to bed. Please, no. You know what time it is. It's war. This feel, uh, like, uh, I don't know. I uh, feel like I've been in a time skip. I went to Vegas. I came back. Remington is like a full foot taller now. <laughs> <laughs> that website is defunct. No. 2000. What? <laughs> What was the date? 2007! Yeah, you were a little off. You were just a little. Uh